Hi, welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today, as a bit of an experiment, we decided to go out into the sub-zero temperatures outside of our office and uh, do some testing on the new Coolit Domino ALC liquid cooler. So if I could get the cameraman to have a look at this thing. Um, you can't really see the LCD on the side. It's pretty cool. There's a few different profiles for it. Uh, the coolant temperatures right now are 8 degrees and compared to when we were running it inside, we had about 60 degree load temps on our Core i7 CPU, whereas right now we're sitting at about 30 degrees. Um, you know, I don't really know the point of this, but you know, if you're looking for some extreme overclocking, you don't want to invest in, you know, more expensive gear, you can achieve tremendous temperatures simply by taking your PC outside. The most important thing to remember is keep it from turning on immediately before you take it inside. You should give it about 24 to 48 hours for the condensation that will form on it to evaporate once you go back inside the house. Okay, what is our point today? It's frozen. While an entirely pointless edition of NCIX Tech Tips, we just thought with the cold weather, it'd be pretty cool to come out here, see the low temperatures, you know, get the tripod stuck in the snow, have to run. Yeah, you can see my pants are wet about up to the knee. I had to run over to our Tech Tips room in order to actually get what we needed to film my microphone, which the microphone ended up not having any batteries anyway, so... We just wanted to bring this moment to you. You can see I'm running eight instances of Prime 95 with none of the cores going over 35 degrees on a Core i7 Extreme Edition CPU. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips. That is a very wet monitor. <laughs>